both of these squads, both of them having slightly differing starts to the season as well. Misfits sitting currently at four and one, only losing to Rogue. XL, perhaps a little bit of a better start than some people expected. Two and three right now, Kajal. And uh, I know you've been on... Looking for a cheeky top gank here. Three bot kite camps and raptors into top gank. Doesn't have the red buff yet, but it could catch cries off guard. No flash. I love this focus on getting Hibbit ahead, though. On the Gwen, he has been so impactful already. When in the 1v1, Ignite goes down from either side, and Hibbit shielded up with the safeguard. We'll get out alive. Yeah, massive props to Razork. Really smart pathing there. Well, we should be able to get most of the CS underneath the towers. Razork looks for a gank in the mid lane. BTO going in. Misses the abduct there. Gonna keep diving in. Nuketuck, though, with the Shuriken. There's the Sonic Wave, and Nuketuck has to flash away. Flash saving him a little bit there. Hibbit trading in the top lane with the Needle. What? Misses both the first two procs. Should he be able to hit the third here? And Cries will get snipped, snipped down. Oh, Gwen, baby. That's a kill. Oh, objective. And while we're here praising Misfits, I do want to ask you guys a question at home. Do you think Misfits is a top five team in the LEC? So far, they are 4 and one sitting in tied first, have only lost a game to Rogue that a lot of us look at and say, if they had placed a single ward, they would. the game, we thought TP would mean that you have a winning lane phase in a sense. You don't get solo killed, you should be able to get better bases and have a CS lead in turn. And Nuketuck's been ganked two or three times now. Has used the Ignite once, and he's still up in CS, forced BTO's TP, definitely winning out in this mid matchup. Yeah, really, it's been Misfits looking up towards to just funnel all of that gold into the Gwen. Might be able to get a full tower here. Kobe is actually catching the bot waves for free as well, so XL losing out on the bot side, while Misfits are winning out on both lanes. Kobe is catching the wave for free. Vanders makes sure that this jungle top of Misfits can take all the topside vision, force Stan out of his own jungle, and then at the cost of losing, like XL can make those plays into more plays. But the, the, the chain of effect, or the, the knock-on effect, hasn't actually come in yet for XL. They used one ultimate in mid so far, but barring that, they haven't found much, but maybe they can find here and here, but Vander and Razork are around once again. All of Misfits coming across here. Razork will smite away the blue. Dan, trying to get out of this one. The flash kick comes out. Needle work onto Dan. He dodges across the wall. Ooh. The needles just go wide as Dan is able to escape. Vander, not willing to let the Sejuani get away. He goes in, head up, pulverize. It's enough to secure the killers. Copy looks for a 1v1 in the bottom lane. The clans away from the exhaust. There's a feather storm as well. The feathers going to get pulled back. Kami trying to get the auto attacks in, but he cancelled two autos! He cancelled his autos and he still gets the one for one! Oh, baby, I think you saw a stare down there for around three seconds because Kobe was trying to preemptively flash Patrick's E flash because he knew if that hit, then he would die. But Patrick just autos him down and gets the kill. Kobe obviously picking that up with the last second tick of the Q on Kai. So Nukeduck. Denik versus Razor from BTO here. Nuketuck going back in. There's a stone player onto BTO. Perfect execution stolen away. Nuketuck's going to get chased away by Razor. Goes forward with the safeguard. Doesn't have the challenger leasing mechanics that my co-caster does. Can't secure the kill. But here it will come in to take down Denik. Oh, you know my leasing would have landed that Q. You, you know it. Yeah, and what XL are doing here is they're putting a pressure point on the map as we see the Herald being used mid that we saw taken earlier. XL's strongest member right now is Nuketuck. They can't contest through mid because they have no top push, but they can contest through bot. That's why Dan's hovering around there. Unfortunately, BTO just keeps respecting the 2v1. He keeps respecting, keeps wave clearing, and Kobe and Vander keep covering every time a wave is under that tower. So, really good shutdown of um, what XL wants to do on the map. To use it, because Misfits are starting it up now, and the price is quite far. This is the Cloud Soul point if Misfits were to get this. And XL, XL absolutely they just have no, no vision. vision. Yeah, they've got yeah. nothing in here. And Vander. The, the power of Alistair is not only his ability to combo and CC opponents, but also the fact that he can be a solo face checker at this point for themselves. And small kind of itemization point, which does hurt XL's engage. Hang on, we might have an engage here. Dan gonna jump onto Vanda. Vanda lands the knockup. Here he pops the unbreakable will, and you can see just how darn tanky he is. Solar player hits onto two, but the TP's gonna get in behind them. Here comes Hirik, Glacial Prism locks him up, but the Hallowed Mist is just giving him so much protection. Stolen paranoia, and Dan goes down. Everfoss gets oh, Razork. Shot, but Razork! Safeguard, a flash, kick, and Cries is dead. XL can't even fight in their own jungle. Here he just drops the TP and comes in. Difficult the for XL to, uh, to find that initial play, and they wanted to uh, start getting kills on the boards a lot earlier than. Fight. You can see here it's moving up. Denik tried to find the engage because here it's on bot wave, and XL are in a choke right now. Vander can get a flash knock up here, it could be huge. Here it looking for Cries. Vander going in, there's the Feather Storm, but Vander too tanky on that front line. Double kick as well as they look at Denik. The solar player's gonna land. The Feathers get pulled back, and XL might find the Feather they were looking for. Here it's coming in from the backside, and that needle work is just doing too much damage. It was almost perfect for XL. You could sense a team by win in the palm of their hands, and here it just cuts it away from them. Yeah, the initial fight was good when Vander dropped and the AoE damage came through from the feathers. It looked good, but then Gwen showed up behind them and killed everyone. So unfortunate fight. Let's keep rise on here. It comes around the back. Patrick has no peel. You can see he's trying to find somewhere to run to, but there's nothing. By the time XL tried to turn and peel for him, 
They're already dead. Yeah. That's always the issue. Perhaps yeah. not getting 2v2 kills all the time, but when it comes to team fights, you can count on him to have good team fights. You can count on him to put out high DPM. Oh, here we go, though. Every Christ. single fight. Paranoia coming out. Glacial Prison goes short. Cries realizes he doesn't want any piece of this as he starts to run away. And Copy once again is the man going in with the killer in six as they look for more kills. Copy on a rampage for this fly as Patrick tries to disengage. Meanwhile, Hivit is not even with this fight. And Razork oh, kicks in Patrick for Copy's double kill. Vanda going forward once again. VTO will secure the third. This has been a 4v5 courtesy of Misfits Airlines and XL are flying all the way back to the fountain. Yeah. Nuke Tuck, the only one left alive. Yeah, fasten your seatbelts because that's going to be the end of the ride. Probably they're just going to end the game here. 16 to 2 in kills. Christ tries to find a desperation engage. And that is it, XL. They knew they had to start a fight because the second the siege comes through, there's nothing they can do when this Gwen starts hitting bot tower and there's four man mid. So let's try it. Uh, uh, Hail Mary just trying to go for it. And in the end, it doesn't work for them. Misfits, 26 minutes on the clock. They're just going to clean this one up. Misfits purple patch will continue. Only beaten by last season's finalists so far. And they're having a little bit of fun with XL. Misfits, five and one. And in the interview before this game, Candy Floss said that XL might be a tough opponent. It's someone they definitely need to beat in the race for playoffs. Yep. And they look a cut above XL right now. Is that a Gwen joke? Oh, it was a Gwen joke. Oh, yeah. I don't think you could say it's a Gwen joke.